the Ukrainian leader Zelensky, who has so far been the hero for the liberal Westerners, has managed to use one tweet to rattle his own liberal base. Welcome back to the show, guys. Let's take a quick break from all the doom and gloomy stuff and all the news stories. There's every now and then I want to uh, do a reaction video to what's been going on over the last few days. So a few days ago, you had the Italian election. You had the new prime minister, first female prime minister. You would think that the left will be happy. Oh, no, no, no. She was not the right female uh, prime minister and leadership candidate. So they decided to attack Meloni. Now, of course, Zelensky tweeted... Well, congratulations to Georgia Maloney. And uh, I think that's just the, the translation on Twitter. Obviously changed her gender. It says his party, but it's supposed to be her party. So <laughs> don't assume her gender, Zelensky. Uh, and um, we appreciate Italy's continued support for Ukraine in the fight against Russia and blah, blah, blah. So we said that. Maloney is supportive of Ukraine, obviously. She, she doesn't like Putin. Then what happened was, this happened. <laughs> Let's look at some of the tweets in the last few days. Vania with the Ukrainian flag, the European Union flag, all the rainbows and unicorns and popcorn. Delete. A lot of people are asking you to delete. It's triggering for so many people. There are people that faint and feel sick. Please, I am begging you to delete it. Delete the post right now. It's forbidden and illegal in many countries to post something like that. People are crying. <laughs> oh, I just every I've read this now seventeen times. I just can't stop laughing. Uh, people are crying. Ah, uh, it's illegal. I just realized what? <laughs> How is it illegal? I don't know what country is she's hanging out with. Uh, but if a country bans this sort of post, I don't think you want to go to that country, wherever it is. There is more. You ready? Okay. Okay. Nothing is going to top that one. So it's not that fun. This person saying, uh, I thought Maloney and her hard right, far right companions are more fans of Putin. Considering, obviously, she came out and defended uh, the Ukrainian people saying, well, Putin attacking them is not good. It's innocent people. Uh, and then <laughs> this guy, Mugwump, okay, I don't understand why, uh, saying that, well, they were expecting Maloney to be hard right and supportive of Putin. When did Putin become hard right? <laughs> I don't think you guys know the definition of hard, hard right or far right, but that's one. And then the last one. These two are brilliant. So Lauren Babis says, I get that you kind of have to do it, but you. <laughs> the other one, Kaya says, I'm sorry, but I can't believe you're sending congratulations to a fact. <laughs> I am shocked. Oh, no. Hello, darkness, my old friend. This is absolutely embarrassing. This is the state of a... Uh, Europeans and some of the Americans actually <laughs> just general Westerners. Why is everybody so offended so easily these days? It's um jokes aside with all this stuff Put aside the political differences putting aside which side you support I'm just concerned about the mental health of citizens in the world when they can easily get offended Because of a tweet because of an a, a democratically elected prime minister of a country this if we don't stop this nonsense now that we're shooting ourselves in the foot with, this is could this could be the downfall of what I call the Western Empire. You know, it's a it's a very soft power that we've had. Actually, it started as that, but because of the the monetary policies and the digital policies, everything the, the globalization of powers. Of course, it's actually it does look like more of an empire. It's not empire in the sense that there's one world leader uh, taking over the world in that sense, but it's a groupthink. Uh, empire so but the, the western globalist empire could easily fall if you don't do it and some people say actually it's probably a good idea but the problem is if you fall countries will fall we will fall right now we need to get rid of the globalists before the fall even the roman empire fell some people say oh it's because of the the leadership of the roman empire got distracted and complacent no, it's because the the actual culture and the citizens of the empire became complacent and they shot themselves in the foot and got distracted and the whole thing went down. Don't turn the UK into another Rome. Every now and then I have to say that. Sometimes I say don't turn the UK into another Iran. But this time, don't turn the UK into the Roman Empire and continue with freedom and democracy. 
maybe we could start with it first before continuing with it but it is what it is um thanks again guys for watching for all the um kind messages of the last couple of days i was obviously unwell but i'm back and i've been ranting for hours and hours uh, but <laughs> we're gonna come back and we're gonna have uh, a number of uh, live streams as well for you guys uh, either tonight or definitely throughout the weekend we're gonna have so much news stories about what's going on in the country but of course as well as across the world when it comes to the globalist affairs of the idiots subscribe to the channel i'm my 2c and we are the media